Hi everybody, my name is Tom Solid and I welcome you to a new video. Many of you have seen the video I made last year about um, note-taking app comparison table, okay? So I provided you a table where I compared several note-taking apps with each other. If you're new to this channel, this channel is all about going paperless and especially handwriting note-taking apps. I have done already a lot of reviews you can check out. So it's really worth to subscribe as I will always make updates about these note-taking apps and so on. And because I compared all these note-taking apps already, now I provide you a new version of this table and it is not only highly dynamic, that means you can actually compare whatever apps you like with each other. No, you can do even more. So let me show what I mean by that. So now here we are on uh, my website and uh, on the main page I will always show you for the running uh, month my favorite apps. and. Uh, you can actually click on these apps so you will go directly to these and you will see the rating about the app and then you can click here and you have the user rating, video reviews uh, I've done so far for this app and the details and the details section that's really that where I put the most effort in because I think it's really important to point out all the features um, so you will see on which devices is available for which area it is most useful. So if you scroll over, uh, if you hover over these uh, titles, you will see a further description what this means. And then you have several sections, so it's general spec. So I provide you here the app version tested. Then I, you see the supported devices. So is it available on Mac or Windows and iPhone and so on. Useful for what uh, area it's useful. Then you see all the clouds um, cloud service that it can be synced with and is audio recording available and so on. Handwriting, I will show you everything you need to know. Then about PDF annotation, is it possible to import PDFs? Then the multitasking support, drag and drop support and so on. And then you see also the special features. So that was just a quick run through what uh, there is. So let's go for example to Note Shelf. So I will show you that there are also user ratings. So there are actually uh, people actually reviewing. So if you know any of these apps, I would highly appreciate it if you go over to this site and join the community, our paperless me community and help people to find the right app by even giving you experience you had with these apps and uh, leave a review there. So let's go to home and uh, let's start from there again. So on this website is also a forum, so you can start discussions of everything about note-taking, going paperless, digitize your life and so on. That's what we discuss in the forum. And there is the Paperless Me Facebook group. If you go here, you will go to the Paperless Facebook group. Here you can join and you can start discussions about note-taking and so on as well. So it sounds really like an advert, but uh, I just want to mention you the things, how you can get answers to your questions. That's the whole point. It's all for free. There's nothing you have to do. I mean, you need a Facebook account to join a Facebook group. You need to sign up to look at a forum, but for the app reviews, you can just use it for free. You don't need to sign up or anything. So you can just check it out. So if you click here on app reviews, here you go. These are the apps I reviewed so far. You are able to to look, to compare apps like uh, you're going for Node Shelf, for example, and then, okay, I want to see this, and then you just click here, and I showed you this, you can click here how to compare apps. I described you how it works, but it's, I can tell you here. So this, uh, on this balance here, just click here, and you will see it will just go over here in the sidebar, and then you can check out any other app, and say, okay, that's interesting too, and I want to compare this now with this app. And even three apps or more you can compare at the same time. So same way here, and now you see all the three apps are in here, and you can click on compare now, 
and what this will bring you up and that's something I was already very excited about that I was able to implement this. You have all the three apps on one page and now you can compare the features and really find out for yourself which suits you the best, yeah? Which one gives you the features you really need and yeah, a typical comparison. All right, uh, that's not it already because I just implemented a complete new feature. And if you're a subscriber from my channel or on my website or anything, you might know my comparison tool already, but this you don't know yet because I just implemented it and it's working. So now we got the filter section here. And what this allows you, you don't need to look through all the apps anymore and look at the attributes. You can look for key attributes. So I just have chosen some. If you have something else you want to have in this filter section, so you can filter the apps by, uh, just let me know in the comments below and I will be happy to implement it in there. So it's easier for you to find the right note-taking app for your needs. All right, so for example, I want to have an app with uh, handwriting recognition and it should be able to uh, import hyperlinks. Okay, and let's just click search and there you go. GoodNotes is at the moment the only app that is able to recognize your handwriting and also import PDFs. However, if I also want to have audio recording, you will see no app is able to, to provide you everything. So let's put this away, press search again, and there you go. You see audio recording, handwriting recognition, the apps come up. And that's something I think makes it really easy. Okay, I also have a blog, so you go here, I also provide you um, information like major updates for Node 2 or for other apps as well. Then I will reflect these updates as well in my comparison table again. So let's go there and go for the filters again so I show you what I mean. Like this clickable hyperlinks in PDFs, digital journal support was only available for good notes so far, but recently Note Shelf 2 added it as well. So I updated the Note Shelf 2 and you see now uh, it comes up along with good notes 4. So I hope this comparison tool will help you to find the right app that suits you best and uh, tell your friends, of course, sharing is caring. Join my social media and so on. I'm also on Twitter and Instagram. Just get connected, reach out to me, ask whatever you need to know. And uh, yeah, see you next time.